his future as a field goal kicker as well. Sticks that one to Marcus Joyner, who brings it out. And Joyner slips a tackle and is taken down at the Florida State, which has had throughout the game, with one exception, very good field position. Starts out at the 36. And the first defense to 93, Florida State winning that battle in the first half. They're big favorites in this game as Thompson four, so he's got a, a doubly steep learning curve. I think he's going to be a good one. 325 pounder out of the state of Minnesota. That one had a lot of mustard on it. And Kenny Shaw, first two possessions for, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Sean Powell did have to hunt with the first two possessions of Florida State. Sends it away from Tyler Kane, the return man, and it dribbles to a stop. Um, run the ball a little bit. He's been banged up a little bit. Need to get a little confidence going down here. Eighth possession of the game, and none of them have started outside their 20-yard line. So Making things difficult on the opposing. There you see it pan off right there. And that's the quarterback. Loaded as a captain at the end of the year as a freshman, which tells you how much his teammates respected him. Edwards, in four and four, tied for fourth in the Sun Belt Conference. But one of the favorites to win the conference this year. Browning nowhere to go but down. Third and nine. Browning completes it over the middle, but well short of the first down. That's Jerron Ham, who is Arizona, turning that defense around. Aaron Munoz in. A little rugby punt. They don't want Greg Reed to touch it as they kick it out of bounds. Reed has burned them. E.J. Manuel with a couple of touchdown passes today. Florida picks up the blitz. And then Ty Jones is able to spin. Manuel with a whole lot of time. Threw it slightly behind his receiver, Bo Relaford, but the tight end was able to adjust. And it gives him a first down just over midfield. Play action. Manual to read, and that's just over to a percentage for any Florida State quarterback, but he's under that today, 13 of 23. That one is zipped in. Caught can run, and that pretty much fits their defense to a T. Here they are facing a third and six as a defense. And that's a first down. Yep, it is a first down. Downs went to Miami Central High School. They were the 6A state champions last year. And Freeman had a monstrous championship game. He's had a monstrous couple of plays. Here with a couple of tight ends on the same side, running it again. And Freeman gets it again. This time gets a couple of, couple of yards. Second long, probably looking for something more in the pass game. Well, for the tight end, went in motion. They give it to Freeman, who cuts against the grain. Nice ankle tackle. And their signals and get it down to the sidelines. A little shielding with the towels. That play did not go in. You or anywhere you go, Coach. <laughs> Probably anywhere. <laughs> Manuel stepping up into the pocket, going to pull it down and run with it. EJ taken down at the 11. Passing play, I'll probably be wrong again. <laughs> Trying to keep everybody guessing. Manuel, everybody is well covered. He throws it at the last second. Rodney Smith got open. Wave this is the junior fullback, number 24. Freeman does get it, and he is taken down just short of the goal line by Derek. Andrew Datko leading the way. Second and goal, and this time, oh, there you go. Freeman cannot be denied the true freshman's first collegiate touchdown. Feature back on the weights at his five. Let's see if Hopkins can still kick it in the end zone. Taking it to 10. So ULM picks up session. They're starting on the 31. They've had six punts, an interception, and then one possession ended at on second and eight. Iris Edwards in motion. They go the opposite way. Pass is completed to Anthony McCall, but this for several of the defensive player of the year awards. Browning decides to hold on to it and makes a good decision. Looks like a face man. Ooh, he might have touched it a little bit. That play strung out nicely, but Luther Ambrose, a true sprinter, was third in the NCAAs. 
Now Browning is in a mess of trouble, and he goes down back in Houston. Dropping him for a nine-yard loss. That's the fourth Florida State sack of the game. Browning comes right back and completes a pass for a first down to Jerron Hayne. Number eight, Timmy Jernigan, number eight for Florida State playing defensive tackle. He's a true freshman. Another one of those talented players trying to get some action. Another completion, by far their best drive, as they are down at the 31-yard line. Browning, their quarterback, throws it out of bounds. This is what runs in terms of things they want to prove. Very important for the Warhawks. They have two tough road games coming up at TCU and Iowa in the next couple of weeks, and that ball was batted a couple of times and then caught. Browning rolls no way. Taken down in the backfield by Vince Williams in Florida State Hall. In fact, Vince Williams coming up with a team-high seventh tackle of the game, dropping Colton Browning for a loss. So E.J. Manuel back out there. Tossing if you want to be around. that great football team. Has a couple of touchdown passes, and true freshman Devontae Freeman has run for a touchdown. Also another field. There is a field goal by Dustin Hopkins. There's there, he's just trying to play hard. So the 15 yards puts it into ULM territory at the 37. Play action. Manuel has a man wide and he one-hopped it to Nick O'Leary. Tight end last year. Jimbo Fisher staff doing a great job with recruiting classes. Manuel up top and completes this time down to the 30 to Rodney Smith. Time for another update. And off to a terrific start with five touchdown passes last night. Third and seven for the Seminoles after the delay. Manuel able to hang in there and complete it to Hagens. And Scooter Hagens scooted away from a would-be to state. So they've been going a lot with their front line guys, and they're getting worn down a little bit. O'Leary has it this time. There's the tight end with the catch from EJ. The freshman highlight show coming back to the same place. Nick O'Leary on the underneath route. I think what criminals have caught a pass today. Good job by Manuel, and of course, James Coley and Jimbo Fisher getting the, the ball distributed to different guys. Chris Thompson with the run on run back in the third quarter is in the backfield. Along with the fullback Lonnie Pryor. Manual going up top. What a catch. Rodney Smith stuck his hands out at the line. Six, six. Just get it up there and give your guy a chance to make a play. Working against Isaiah Newsom who had pretty two. Six catches for Smith. First and goal from the two. Freeman again, take it down. That's a terrific play. Push back to the three. Play action, Manuel. Goes down again, and Florida State has now lost yardage on two. DJ checking the play at the line of scrimmage. Manuel looking at the end, into the end zone in the first half. Nothing to it for one of the best kickers in college football. It off. Tyler Kane, the true freshman, waits near the goal line. Decides to take it out from two yards deep. Dances around and goes down. Flag down around the 13th day, and that is very, very difficult. And running with the football and take it down a couple yards. Keeping the ball on the ground and not much real estate at all. It was three games. It's third and eight right now. And it's incomplete. They are, however, making some money. Tough lesson for ULM. Free you out of his own end zone. Backs up Greg Reed. That's a nice punt. He's, he's doing a good job with hang time. And Reed decides to run away from everybody. Free you tried to get him job in the spring game. Very efficient. Made some good throws. First throw of his collegiate career is complete. Rashawn Green, the true freshman, takes it in for the touchdown. Quick trick it has one collegiate pass and it's for a touchdown.
Rain is moving in later tonight and, and tomorrow, but it's been a perfect day for college football. Kobe Walker this time, so some backups getting in for ULM. We saw Manuel Washington it's from tonight at 8 Eastern time, Oklahoma in an ABC game. That pass is incomplete. Going there. First down after the penalty. Washington gets another carry. Tough enough taking on Florida State. Starting to cloud up a little bit here in Tallahassee. Mitchell Bailey. Pass is complete for the first down. Handoff to Bailey. And he picks up about three yards. Tallahassee. Hope the Florida Atlantic can pull off that upset as we get the Will Muschamp era underway. Mitchell Bailey doing some good work. Getting very good. Well, 34 to nothing. Their highest preseason ranking since 2004. Backup quarterback Cody Wells for ULM. Goes against the green. 17, but totally dominating them. Dominated them. Quarterback hanging on to it for a few yards. Oklahoma last year, 487 yards. A lot of people here in Tallahassee think a national championship. They've not won one since 1999. They've not won an ACC title since 04. They dominated when they... They want the shutout. And they get the stop on third down. Here down to the three receiver side. Fourth and six, knocked down at the line of scrimmage. What they want to do is just get better and focus on their game each day and each week. Clint Trickett back in there, handing off to Gabriel Smiley, a backup fullback. And that should do it. Thought we might.